Steve is making supper. I can. What are you making for supper, Steven? Food. Food is important. <laughs> Two pounds of hamburger that we have in here that we're going to cut into bits and pieces and fry up. Ooh, I can hear the sizzle starting. So while the hamburger is frying, Steve is grating the cheese. How much cheese do you need, Steve? A lot of cheese, Shannon. A whole lot of cheese. So I got this from a lady word named Dorothy. Aha. Uh -huh. No last name, just Dorothy. Just Dorothy. Should see your pizza. <laughs> I wonder if there's any way to measure out this cheese for everybody. <laughs> it's one and a quarter of those. Of those. Of, of those. See those? Yeah, one and a quarter of those. Those, which is 400 grams. <laughs> so it'll be 400, and if it's a quarter, so 500 grams. Yep, or whatever you want to use. So you can use more cheese, you can use less cheese. All I know is it's going to be about 500 grams by the time you're done. And four or five pieces of skin. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Tell me, Steve, is it starting to grate on you? <laughs> Please don't get her started. <laughs> she will not stop. <laughs> so you can put whatever spices or onions or peppers or whatever you want in this. We're using, we're going to use salsa, right? Which kind of has everything already in it. It has the onions and the peppers and the tomatoes and yes. spices and, although I think we're adding some spice as well. Yes, some Montreal <laughs> steak spice. <laughs> so the meat has been drained and you've added some spices. Now we're adding cheese. Just some cheese. How much cheese? Whatever you want. Okay, and into that is going an entire jar of salsa. How big is that jar of salsa, sir? 645 milliliters. 645 milliliters. A lot of salsa. But as you can see, it's got the onions in there, and the peppers, and lots of tomatoes, and who knows what all is hiding in there. <laughs> but, um, and you can do it mild, which is probably what ours is. <laughs> or yes. you can do it spicy. So it's just kind of whatever you so desire. Oh, look at the cheese stringing. Ooh. Steve's hot little hands, we have these guys, jumbo shells. And there they are, in the boil. Is this other one going to fit? Too? No. <laughs> There's no way you're going to fit both boxes in there because those are going to get bigger. So it's 340 grams worth of jumbo shells. <coughs> so need, they need to do their thing. So they cook for what, the nine minutes? Well, we want them still somewhat. Okay. Hard. So not quite the nine minutes because this is not their final resting place. <laughs> so probably more like five minutes check them out and as it's being mixed you can add in a little more cheese and I'm gonna guess that as you continue to mix it you add a little more cheese and a little more cheese yeah it wasn't there when she did it so yes <laughs> sure that sounds good and this is still on the burner is still on for this but it's it's just on low like really nice and low now that everything has all cooked in so it's just a matter of melting things in, which isn't too difficult for cheese to do. Ooh, arm goes by. <laughs> so Steve has sprayed a 9 by 13 baking dish with some cooking spray so that these guys won't stick. And that's because we're going to be adding more cheese to them after, right? And they have been they cooked for five about five minutes. Off on boil. Yeah, on a, on a nice rolling boil so that they would be cooked um, but still firm enough to be able to, to stuff. Because <laughs> that's kind of important. So, um, 
much hamburger stuffing going on into the shells. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but... It works for us. <laughs> They're hiding inside one another. They are gonna taste some good, Stevie. Thank you for going to all this trouble for us. James and I are rather excited. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all them shells! Yes. <laughs> and because we have meat left over. <laughs> so we cover the whole top with cheese? Yep. Oh my golly. I should make some comment about it being really cheesy. But that would be cheesy. Never stopped it before. <laughs> if there had been any of that left, James, we're gonna make tacos. <laughs> okay. It's already got the salsa in it. And it's going to go into the oven at 350 degrees until the cheese is melted. Originally Dorothy's creation, now Steve's creation. We're not 100% certain what the creation is. All we know for certain is that it looks really, really good. <laughs> so hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And we'll look forward to seeing you the next time through. And in the meantime, enjoy! Come on, cheese. Ha, ha, ha.